Okay, this is going to be my first actual usage of the DRO that I just bought and put on the machine. I dialed in my part here. I'm going to go up here and I'm going to zero X and zero Y. And what I want to do, I'll explain what I want to do here. I'm making a, a chain sprocket uh, ring to go on this adapter. This has got a, a taper lock in it. And what I want to do is I want to put um, five 440 screws with the heads just grabbing that diameter. So, what we need to do is I need to figure out uh, the diameter that I'm going to uh, call out. And I think this is 2 inches 125 in the center. I'm just going to grab my calipers here and double check. So we've got 2 inches 125. And the head of I think I'm going to use I think I'm going to use a button head. I know I've got somewhere. Those are the only ones I have are long. Are long ones. I don't have any short ones. I'd like to have a nice short one. Hmm. Maybe I will go with just a regular 440 then. Yeah, I think I will. And uh, not exactly what uh, sure what the head diameter is on a 440. The head diameter is about 178. All right. So let's see if I can figure this out. See if I can figure this out and do it right the first time. <laughs> so, we've got 2 inches, 125 diameter, and we got the head of uh, 440 was, what did I say, 178? Yeah, about 178, about that. Point one seventy eight diameter. So if I if I were to put it right on line, I don't want to do that. I want to come back. So uh, the radius of the head is o eighty nine. So if I came back o eighty nine then it would just rub, but I wanted to probably catch it by 30 thou. So, 59. That's on a radius now. <clears throat> so I take that, 2 inches, 125, divide that in half to get the radius, 1062.5, subtract the uh, 59. Following along. So it's 5, um, 3, 0, 0. So that is, is that correct? 5, 12, 6. Yep, that, that's correct. Now we take that times 2 get back to the diameter, we got 2 inches 007. 2 inches and 7 thousandths. So that's what I want to punch in on the readout for the diameter. I hope you followed that. 
got lost myself. <laughs> okay, I think I got it figured out. Um, the last goal that I had, if one of the holes ended up right here. And so I need to shift it a little more to get away from that hole and stay away from that hole. So what I've got on the screen and uh, what I've got, let's go back to uh, absolute and go back to my zero. I don't know if you have to go back to the zero every time. I don't think you do. I think it calculates from where it's at. But I'm just going to go back to the zero. It's going to take me a while to get used to this readout. That's, uh, I'll use it as a regular readout, but I mean to get used to these functions that, like, like uh, the whole pattern and in uh, holes at an angle. Those two I might make use of. So anyway, here's the center, zero, yes. That's the diameter, yes. Five holes, yes. And I started at 45. So now I'm going to change that. I'm going to go about half of that. Um, I'm just going to change it 20, deg 20 degrees, so I'll go 25 degrees. And what I found is, okay, so now I'm going to start at 25 degrees. You have to add that to the 360. So 25 degrees added to the 360 is uh, 485. So I'll, right, 360, no, 385, I'm sorry. So I go 385. Five. That's where I want to end. Okay. Now hole number one. These ways I'm thinking it, that's what you do. You add whatever the starting angle. If you're going to go all the way around, you're going to end up... Uh, so, I'm going to crank over to hole number one. Crank it to the zeros. Uh, too far. And uh, bear with me. I'll get it figured out. All right, so now. You seen where it was last time, so I moved it over there, so it should be just on this side of that hole. So let's go ahead and center it around. I'm thinking that it's going to be all right. All right, next hole. You know, you gotta play with your new toys. So. You basically gotta figure it out. Well, you sit down and read the book. <laughs> what fun is that? No, I I did scan through the book a little bit.
And that, at that diameter, these heads should just catch it by about 30 thou. I'll have a washer underneath, hoping it'll work. This is a cheap sprocket for my mini hog. Oh no! <coughs> I moved it that way, which moved that one up onto that hole. Duh! Alright, well, I think supper's ready. So, I'm gonna have to call it quits. I'll get it figured out tomorrow. Um, so if I move to 20, And if I move it another 20, that I might have to go with instead of five holes. Maybe I'll do six holes. I wanted to make five in it. I just but if I go, if I move, move to 20. If I move it another 20, it's going to be in falling into that hole. If I move it, maybe 15. I'll figure it out tomorrow. So, later. Okay, so here's the the finished product with the five screws in it. I already put the screws in it. So I may. So I got that figured out on how to do the holes the hole patterns and now I might mess around with the holes at the angle at the end of this video and see if I can you know do that correctly so but I'm going to continue working on this first and get this done and then I'll come back to this later <laughs>